You are about to witness the greatest show in the world. Hi, Boogie Bob. Hey, girl. Hello. Congratulations <laughs> on all you're doing. Love you, Boogie Bob. Oh, I love you. What's happening, Oscar? Coolio with the flow, represent Boogie Bob. God we in Harlem, don't get robbed. Right. I'll see you again, I promise. All right, Boogie Bob. Wilder. That's Boogie Bob. I love you forever. Don't get Joe Logan in the house. Drink Coolio with my man Boogie Bob. <laughs> I'm with Angel Reese. I asked her to marry me. She said no. Was it a no? Was it a hard no? God, I love you. I want to marry you. I'm not joking. I'm not joking, girlfriend. Thank you. I love you, Pam. Hey, hi to Boogie Bob. Oh, I love you. You Let's look as beautiful as the day I first saw you. God I bless you. I can't wait to boogie with you. You're gonna boogie all night long, girl. Look who I'm with. Hey. Ice. Ice, that was the best show I've ever been to, and I've seen them all. I love this other man. You've had New York getting out the palm of your hand, but guess what? I'm going to the after party. That's right. <laughs> I'm going to holler at every shorty in the building. That's right. <laughs> Welcome to the Boogie Bob Experience. I'm your favorite YouTuber. Oh, we gonna have some fun. this guys it's a, a beautiful day you can tell by the way everybody's dressed but it is windy and when it's windy like this the microphone sounds like this I, I can't do nothing about it I'm going to the grocery store but I thought I'd walk and check out some ladies hip-hop defining here baby baby Hip hop's defining ears. We're going to, uh, guys, you've been to my food festivals before. They're all pretty much the same. We're going to run into a couple of my friends selling shoes and other things out here. But we're also on the lookout for the uh, sausage and peppers. I see it right down the block down there. They're $20. Now, I love that sandwich but I was actually walking to the store to buy sausage. So uh, I, I'm probably, as much as I want, a sausage hero. They're 20 bucks. And uh, I can buy one. I can make my own. I can make five or six of them for 20 bucks just as good or better. Hi, M. Wall. Hi, everybody. I did the Faruko party last night. I'm sure some of you probably saw it. What a fantastic artist Faruko is. Now I know why he's got 25 million. Followers on just Instagram. 
He is an amazing artist. If you guys want to check him out, I promise you it's worth it. His music was fantastic. You can see it on the old Boogie Bob channel. I posted it last night. Now, whenever I do one of these food festivals, I have the goal of at least three people knowing who Boogie Bob is. Today, I don't think we're going to have that. Look at this. You can get all kinds of pins. You like lobsters? Butterflies. There's me, Scorpio. There's Kit Kat. Over here, they're selling chorizos and tacos. Hi, hon. Oh, she called me Poppy. I might, I might be uh, getting me a new shorty. Look at he's making. That's a quesadilla right there. He's making a big ass quesadilla right there. And he got the cheese. This guy's just waiting for someone to jump in his taxi. I'm just walking here. Hi, Miguel. Donde esta a su sed, amigo? This guy's fighting. Look. This Chinese dude right here. Someone ripped him off. He's over here screaming and yelling. He want to fight people. I don't know what happened. I came in at the end. I didn't. I don't know what happened. There's my sub sandwich guy. This is the uh, this is the one who made my sub sandwich last time. My sausage. They got the crystals. Oh, the smell of that sausage right now is crazy. Look at how tight it is in here, guys. A lot of these food festivals are a couple blocks wide. This one is narrow. Very narrow. Mucho dinero. And you got all kind of hats. I like the bucket hats. Look at this guy. You can wear this hat. It makes people smile. A lot of uh, two for ten. One for six. That's the drug dealer deal. You get two, you save a couple dollars. So two hats for ten is not a bad deal. And look, if you're a player or if you're going to Miami, you get yourself one of these. I'm just walking. We're walking. Yes, indeed. We're talking. No. It's uh, crowded up in here. It's a lot of the same people. Guys, these guys will do this today. And then tomorrow they'll be on the east side. That's how they make their living. On a beautiful day like today, people come out. It's going to go all the way down to 42nd Street. Then I'm going to turn back and come back around. I'm going up to the grocery store. This is called a Boogie Bob bonus. Uh, this is J&J &J Jerk Cuisine. Now, I met J&J &J in college. And we had a Jerk Cuisine one time, but it was only once. Just one time. Have you guys ever seen how they do this bamboo thing here? It's pretty fascinating. You see people standing around. They've never seen it before. These are bamboos. Bamboo husks. So, they'll take a bamboo like that. And then he runs it through a grinder like that. It squeezes out all of the 
the juice. Look at the tire. This dude looks like a tire, bro. When you're done, you got an empty piece of crap sugar cane. I said sugar cane. I said bamboo. I'm sorry. Sugar cane. He sits there and chops it. And uh, the liquid. The liquid is going to go into your cup. I don't know if I can drink it, bro. I don't. Here we go. Don't get your finger in there. I think they're $10. It's a sugar cane. And it's a, uh, a drink. See, the guy rolls, tips him, he don't even say nothing. He don't say thank you, he don't even look at him. Uh, you don't tip people like that, bro. So here's a guy that was fist fighting people earlier, this guy. Remember? There he is, he's back. Now he's got a handful of money. I think he wants a sugar cane, but I don't think he wants to wait in line. Look, maybe he's the problem. You see people clearly standing here. He just walks up, he's looking around and everybody like, yo, I'm next. I know I'm next. He just literally just walked up. Watch, I, I see how people move. Look, he's leaning in already. How much? Uh, I want to be next. Yeah, now he said it's eight bucks. This guy's too cheap, so he's walking away. Fuck out of here. He's the guy that tried to fist fight people as soon as I walked up. Oh, wife just gave him a couple more dollars. He looks like a grifter. He might be grifting people out here. Anyways, once they're done, bro, it's just a, a flattened sugar cane. I don't even know if these are good for anything. They might even recycle these. Once he tips the thing, the juice is going into the cup. God bless him, but he's got horrible open sores on his face. I don't know if I want to get a juice here. I, I don't know. I'm not judging anyone, bro. I just you be real careful where you get your juices from. That's what my grandma used to tell me in college. It's not a diss on him. But uh if someone does have open sores. I don't want to get a juice from them. That's just me. It's not a knock on him at all. You all feel free to get juices from whoever you want. I'm more concerned that he didn't say thank you when the guy tipped him $3. Here's an entrepreneur. Look, she just moved her cart up here. She ain't paying nobody, no tax. She ain't paying these guys. This poor guy's got a, a booth up here. He paid $500 to, to park up here. She just... Pulled up in her damn cart and said, I ain't paying nobody nothing. All right, guys, comedy show. Anybody want to be in the mm -mm. Uh, This guy's at all these. Hey, brother. He's at all these. Many of these people are at all these. Okay, so right now I'm going to show you something. This is uh, the Row Hotel right here. It used to be one of the beautiful, beautiful hotels in New York City, and now it is a it has been converted to a migrant hotel. Nobody walking by is going to go in unless you're a migrant. And I think I think the mayor finally ended it, so maybe they'll open back up to the public. But it's been a migrant hotel, five thousand rooms, or it holds five thousand people. I can't remember which one, but it's a huge hotel. And usually there's way more migrants hanging around out front. So they might have already kicked it into gear. And they used to have uh, uh, big pieces of paper stuck on the, on the window. I think they still do right inside that say that it's a migrant hotel. I wish them luck. I think the mayor finally said, look, it's been two years, you're done. We're just gonna point out certain things just point out certain things also this is a great place to shoplift so there's
it's just too many people coming and going. So if you want to get yourself a sweater, get down here now. Like, okay. Look at this. I have never seen this booth before. It's oil perfume. And they say this is old rose. But look at the bottom. Look at the presentation. It's gorgeous. Now it's only half full, but that's probably because it's a um, display, display piece. But the bottles are gorgeous. Let's just see what they smell like. Very nice. Not high end, but very nice. The bottles are really pretty. You give your shorty this for Christmas, but it's got to be full. So it's not a perfume, it's an oil perfume. She's getting her money. I think a lot of these sales are going to be because of the beautiful presentation. The bottles are beautiful. These right here look like Patron bottles. And they got the little tiny ones as well. Uh, okay, oil perfume, $30. Listen, for the presentation, it's a glass, this is not plastic, it's a glass bottle. It's absolutely beautiful. She's, uh, I can't see how these would be $30. I'd be shocked. Maybe the little ones are 30 It's a, uh, it's not really a perfume. It's an oil that smells perfumey. It means it's gonna last a long time. Look at this. You got street signs. Hell's Kitchen in the house. That's where we're at right now, folks. Times Square's a block that way. We got plates. We got plates. Look at another entrepreneur. She just set her shit up right here. As soon as a cop comes by and gets rid of her, she's gonna be like, oh, I didn't know. My bad. Oh, you knew. You knew! Uh, they're paying 500. She paying nothing. She's just ringing the bell, getting free money. And I am not hating. I'm like, go ahead, girl. Now, if I was sitting there with a booth that I paid $500 for, I might be hating. It's like when I go to take the, uh, the train and I swipe my car, $2.75, then some deuce bag right behind me jumps over the turnstile. I'm like, player. It doesn't affect me, but, uh, you know, get your hustle on, but a little, a little, a little upsetting that I got to pay for a subway and this fool jumped it. And I'm too old to jump the turnstile. I tried. My knees won't work. The doctor said it's physically impossible. In Maryland. You think Marilyn Monroe's estate got any money for that shirt? I don't think so. Korea down. Corn. They got corn. That's really good. Hey, wherever you're at, I hope that you're having a beautiful day today. I don't typically show the jewelry only because it doesn't resonate very well on the camera. It's hard to see. Beautiful little stock washes. 12 bucks or two for 20. That's the drug dealer deal. Why get one when you can get two? This is cute. Do you see that one? I haven't heard about it. Yeah. Oh, it's amazing. The night is still young. The night is still young. The night is still young. And so are we. That's Nicki Minaj, folks. For all you old folks out there going, what the hell is he singing? That's Nicki. Ah, oh, now tell me I wouldn't look cute rocking this. It's a little princess hat, and she even got a pull-up crown. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. As you probably know if you watch my channel, I have five girlfriends and all of my girlfriends have kids. So, I, uh, I bring them here. You guys want to meet my first 
Celebrity Boogie Bob regular. Come on, Playboy, where's the line? Yo, Bob, where, where's the line? Up. Dude, you and your brother are the two hardest working guys in the business. How are you? I'm doing I have excellent. You have fans on my channel. They ask about you guys all the time. I miss y'all. Welcome back. I'm telling you, I'm going to help you open an online store. I know I don't you don't want to. Do that. I'm only yeah. uh, street easy. From Florida. You're, it's from Florida. I was at, the guy's name uh, is Frankie. You don't need to know him. And forget you about it. All right. <laughs> How you How feeling? How you doing? Everybody's doing great, Playboy. Uh, so I, when I got on the thing at 48th, I was hoping I'd see you. Uh, How you doing? You good? Yeah, I'm good. I was, right. was busy out there. Yeah, it's good. You know, they, they narrow these streets, so it's yeah. pretty tight in here. Yeah, I got to watch my wallet. Very nice. Get some money. Hey, good I'll see you on the way back through, player. Oh, player best shoes. Best I'm shoes in Manhattan. New York City, yo. Thank you, Playboy. God bless you. Posted. All right. I probably bought, I don't know, 10 or 12 pairs of shoes from them. I asked my lady friends, what size shoe you wear? A nine? I'll be right back. Oh my God, Bob, these are so cute. Are these Yeezys? Well, kinda. They're fleezies. But no one will know. No one will ever know. And they're cute and they're... They were 40 bucks. They've raised them to 50. Hi, Sugar Bay. Steve Gonzalez is in the house. Everybody say hi to Steve Gonzalez. Look who's here, surfboard. I'm bringing out all the heavy hitters. What's happening, everybody? I hope that you're having a beautiful day. Guys, if you did not watch my channel last night, make sure you check out Faruco. It's one of the biggest Latino stars in the world. Let me turn my uh, earphones off so you guys can enjoy the the beautiful music of Faruco. You guys know this song, by the way. Guys, if you want to see the whole performance, go over to my Boogie Bob channel and uh, watch it. I put it up last night. Bad shorties everywhere, everywhere. And, it, and I had never listened to his music before. However, he is a Grammy Award winning singer. And I recognize at least three of his songs. So uh, I don't listen to reggaeton that much, but they're always in movies and on radio and playing at my Spanish Senorita Shorty's houses. So I definitely did know his music and I downloaded it as soon as I got home because he's that good. Faruco, F-A-R-R-U-K-O, Faruco. Very, very good. I'm the only live streamer in New York City that brings you the Goo Goo Dolls. Faruco, new kids on the block. Come on. BB Rexa. Buster Rhymes, Ja Rule, Fat Joe. If it's going down, I'm in it. Your other favorite YouTubers haven't done it. Now I got the best in the business. You guys have the best stuff on the block. I mean that. I mean, they really do. They got the bags. All my ladies, all my ladies love their stuff. All right, see you later. Okay, so we're at two, two Boogie Bob friendly people. And look at this, guys. Right here at the end, we're at 42nd Street. And look what it is. It's a sausage sandwich. Now guys, I wouldn't buy one here anyways because I have to walk back 20 blocks to get to my crib. But they got a good ass looking sausage. And uh, 
Uh, I'm gonna give you a bit of a tour while we're here. Guys, I started on 48th Street. If you're new to the channel or you're new to New York, don't worry, I'm gonna walk you through it. You gotta watch your ad. Look at this man, almost got killed four times already. Bro, you don't see these bicycles? What the hell's wrong with you? You go, boy. You go, boy. Uh, so this is 42nd Street. Guys, this is one of the busiest streets, 8th Avenue, this way, that we're on right here. But because it's closed, look at this. These people that have been in traps, those people down another block, they've been coming this way for three hours. Ain't nowhere to go, bro. You're either gonna turn right to go to Times Square, you can see it's a, it's, excuse me, it's a parking lot, or you're gonna turn left to go through Hell's Kitchen, and uh, then you gotta go up the West Side Highway. And this guy's like, I ain't, this is where the fist fights happen. Shut up, dick. This is where the fist fights happen because people have been waiting over there for hours and they're gonna try to get out here and turn. They wanna get out of this shit. I've been, I've made the mistake of being caught not knowing there was a food festival going on. Once they turn this over, hundreds of thousands of cars no longer can go through here per hour. So now they're stuck deciding to go through Times Square, which is absolutely right now the worst thing you could do. Your best bet is turn left, go down the West Side Highway, and just get the hell out of here. You'll be okay. After you leave here, it'll take you another 10 or 15 minutes. Right here is all the bikes. Look. These people are walking across here. A lot of them don't realize this is a bike lane. Look at these bikes. Girl, you're going to get your leg broke. You're gonna get your leg broke, lady. Look at the lady, hey girl. So this is 42nd Street. And it goes, that way is the west side. At the end of this is the Hudson River. And across that is New Jersey. And over there is the east side. If you follow this down, you're gonna run all the way into the Empire State Building and the library. And uh, shit like that there. Chrysler building. Anyways, I'm going to now take you, by the way, that's the Port Authority. That's the world's largest, or sorry, busiest bus station. There's no bus station in the world. Not in America, not in New York, in the world. That bus station pumps them in and pumps them out. It's floor after floor of buses. It's also very dangerous. You'd be very careful messing around over there. Now, I don't recommend it. Here, right here, you can just hear the people so pissed off. They want to honk their horns. They don't realize that it's just gridlock traffic until they get here and they realize this is a closed food festival. So now you got to make the decision to go through Times Square. The new drivers, the tourists, the tourists are like, I'll go through Times Square. These guys are like, I'm going to Jersey. All right. I'm going to take you on a tour now and hopefully show you something cool. Again, this is 42nd. This is 42nd between 8th, which we're, this is 8th Avenue here, and the next is 7th and Broadway. But this is the big tourist thing. When you see the tourists on 42nd Street, the Wax Museum and all that stuff, that's right here. We're not going to do that today. We're going to holler at Shorty. Hi, Shorty. Nope. Nothing. Uh, these guys are in a bicycle that's ten minutes, ten dollars a minute. That bike ride, I promise you, is going to be at least four hundred dollars. They don't know. They don't know yet. This lady about ready to get run over. I'm going to get away from this because I can watch this all day. Car accidents, fist fights, everything you can think of happens right here. Just because people are pissed off, they've been in line for an hour and a half. This guy's hanging a U-turn. He's like, I'm not going to Times Square, honey. Let's go to New Jersey, turn left at Connecticut, and then we'll come back. Be much faster. Watch where you're going, player. Head up. You got to put your head up. And now I'm going to focus on some food. The number one thing they have out here at these festivals, I think it's because profit margins are so huge, is corn. We call it maize. It's corn. Throw it on the grill, throw a little seasoning on it like he's doing right there. Uh, they were three bucks everywhere. They went to four. 
None of them have price tags. They size you up as you walk up. They're gonna tell this guy four bucks. They're gonna tell him five. They're gonna tell me 30. Because I look rich. Oh, they honking them horns. It's gonna be some fist fights. When these festivals start, these guys always come out with the full thing. And look, each one gets tapped down all day long. Uh, $10 for the large. He wants the large, that's $10. And you can go to 7-Eleven and get this right next door for four bucks. And then you get the small, the small six bucks. Hi guys. How are you? Okay. We're still walking here. So I was a young man, 30, 28. I think I was 28. This place right here. It's now a smash burger. But when I came, the only burgers that were getting smashed but boom, boom were people. Because that was the largest porno place in America. It was called Show World. RJ uh, was employee of the month, three months in a row. He was customer of the month, four years in a row. I came in here, I came to New York with big plans of being my music career and everything else. Couldn't get a job, got one here. My job was to stand inside with flyers of the new porn star and to get them to go to the third floor, which is the Triple Street Theater. Just like we have movie stars, big movie stars, Angelina Jolie, whoever. Porno has big movie stars. Heather Hunter, Alexa Steele, these guys, Selena Steele. Anyways, my job was to get them to go in and spend $10 because it's free to walk around. Costs a couple dollars, but, but it's free to walk around. But they want you $10. That's why they put me up there. I had the gift of gap. All right, gentlemen, non-stop action for your satisfaction. The girls are so fine, they'll leave you in traction talking about hot, sexy ladies, gentlemen. You pull out a five, she'll get all the way live. Pull out a 10, she'll do it again. Pull out a 20, I'll come sit on your lap. Gentlemen, we're talking about hot, sexy ladies here at the beautiful Triple Treat Theater. I'm Boogie Bob and I'll be here all night. If you want, you can type in Boogie Bob and the word porn. It's the only one on anywhere on YouTube that has what it's like to work there. I went in on New Year's Eve in 1992. I filmed everything from the mop boy, that's the guy with the mop whose job it is to clean up those grotesque booths all the way to head of security, to my employees. I had 60 employees when I was working there. Anyways, uh, until I got busted for stealing, I almost got murdered by the mob. That's a true story. But if you want to see the video, just type in Boogie Bob and porn. It'll come right up. It was the best and worst job I ever had. The best because I was a young, single kid surrounded by lots of ladies who would do anything to get their schedule. And two, because I was a young single kid surrounded by ladies who would do anything to get their schedule. It was a very grimy, dirty job that most young, hot-blooded American boys would love. But uh, and I, there were times where I did, but it was absolutely grotesque and horrible. And Jesus got me busted for stealing. That's the reason I got out of that place. Type in Boogie Bob and porn, and the video will come right up. And if someone wants to copy and paste it and put it in here, that'd be great, because I don't see Rev here today. There's Rev. Rev will put it up. Hey Rev, will you put up my porno video so they could, uh... By the way, there's no nudity. Uh, I don't think there's any nudity. But it is, it is, uh... It is a porno place, so you're gonna see some things that are not really PG. Anyways. We're just gonna keep it moving. Rev's in the house. Rev just got out of jail and he's doing so great. His parole officer says he's doing fantastic. They're selling tacos and stuff. What's up, brother? How are you? They're selling tacos and everything else. Now we're just kind of walking. I am going to be showing you some cool things as we walk because some of you guys have never been here before you don't know anything about the channel right there guys one block away is Times Square Times Square but today we're going to be focusing on uh, on this 
If you like the Game of Thrones, or you have King Henry VIII fetishes, you can come here and get yourself a big ass turkey leg. I think the turkey legs are now 20 bucks. That's a big ass turkey leg. There's a bunch of big ass turkey legs. Uh, there's two main foods out here. The main food is the corn and the shish kebab. By the way, I don't know why they named it shish kebab. Why not Shiska Steve or Shiska Jim? Why do they got to use my name to, uh... Okay, there's authentic Jamaican food. Straight from Brooklyn. These are the places you can get. So there's the, uh... The turkey comes with, a uh, With rice and salad. 20 bucks. You can get the lamb, the gyro, there's the gyro carver, but it looks like they're out of gyro meat. Uh, actually, they pronounce it gyro, and they don't like it when you call it gyro. And uh, here's my friend, Jimmy Shoes. Best affordable shoes in New York City. I own 10 pairs. God bless you, Playa. I'll see ya. You out, here, you out here tomorrow? You guys back here tomorrow? No, sir. I'll be on 3rd Avenue and 34th Street. Moving it around. Keep it moving, baby. Keep it moving. All right. Tomorrow he'll be on 3rd Avenue and 34th Street. So uh, they they get a spot here. Remember, they got to sell a lot of shoes just to break even. You can find some really amazing stuff here. Uh, this stuff here is from, like, Guatemala. And look at this. I'm not sure how much it is. I don't uh, wear the man purse thing. I do, but not this small. I want people to know that I'm wearing a big man purse. But you could feel the material. This is not. This is all handmade stuff. Mm, very nice. What's that one? How much is that one? Twenty-two. Where is Guatemala? Where's it from? Nepal. Nepal. Oh, very nice. Yeah, Nepal. So I have about nine workers from Nepal. And uh, thank you, man. Nepal, the nicest, best people on the planet. That's where uh, Mount Everest is. You can get yourself a Sherpa. A Sherpa is someone that will climb the mountain with you and carry your packs and stuff. And uh, many of the Nepalese people that live around there, they adopt the last name Sherpa. Hi, what's your name? My name is Steve Sherpa. Jimmy, and there's my cousin Jimmy Sherpa. We're just walking. Rev, we're just walking here. Yeah, let's get the likes up. Let's get the likes up. Guys, if we get one million likes, I'm going to take my shirt off and slather oil on my... Sorry, that was gross. I apologize. Uh, guys, you like crepes? Not crepes. It's not called crepes. It's called crepes. It's like a very thin thing. They make them right on the thing, fold them over, get yourself a crepe. Six, eight, 10, 12, and 15. We're just walking. Uh, this was an impromptu walk because it's a, uh, hey girl. An impromptu walk. She's getting her little Instagram on. Go ahead, girl. Get your Instagram. Because I was walking to the grocery store. And I come across a food festival. If you haven't been, if you come to New York, they have them every weekend. Just Google food festival. And they'll say, hey, there's one tomorrow at whatever time. Every, every Saturday and Sunday, they have them. Even in the rain, folks. They're not as fun in the rain. Remember what I said. These guys spent 500, it could be 800. I'm just gonna use the, the base as 500. $500 to rent this, it's not free. 500, she ain't paying nothing. She is gonna push her cart like, yo, I ain't giving you 500. I think the only thing worse for these is uh, Instead of rain, it's the windy days. These windy days are really rough. They blow all your crap off the table. 
You like soccer? I mean football? You like football? Every team on the planet. You like money? Wow, this thing's heavy. Wow, very nice. It's a big ass magnet. It's a big ass magnet. This thing's heavy. I think there's a bunch of magnets in there. That's what it is. Alright. The lady ran across my buttocks. I, you always, when someone bumps into you, check for your wallet. These are cool. Just always check your wallet. And then, you can always look for the $2 magnet special. Look at the magnets right here. Uh-oh, I see a bull sighting. Look at all these bulls. I want to bite you. He wants that one, look. He's buying a bull right here. $22. Actually, sorry. Those are 35, so I'm gonna say that was 50. That's a big bull. He wants it. It's a souvenir. You come to New York and you get yourself a, a big ass bull. Or a yellow cab. There's a yellow cab right there. So I'm going to say that the uh, Rowe Hotel is now open for regular old folks. Because typically there'd be 300 migrants standing here. Because this is a migrant hotel. It has been for the last two years. And uh, I have filmed it many times. And when I do, I always say something complimentary. Like I wish them well. I hope they're doing good. And then someone one time took one of my videos and put it on Facebook. Uh, how many views did it get, Rev? 300,000? Meanwhile, my, my video of compassion and kindness got a thousand views. This guy steals my video, puts it on one of his hate sites. Look at these migrant pieces of crap. He got three or four hundred thousand views and it's me and they didn't change it at all I'm just walking and being kind and compassionate and then every comment is like look at this asshole filming these douchebags you voted for it thanks Biden all these things so I made a very kind compassionate video and someone snatched it and made it evil and mean I'm never going to bash anyone for their living circumstances or trying to feed their family Within reason. Robin Banks, I don't support. Selling fruit on the street, I support. Call me crazy. Call me crazy because I want your children to eat. Call me crazy because I don't want you in El Salvador being gang raped by murderers and killers. Call me crazy. Because I want people to have a better life. And it might cost me a dollar more in taxes. I'm an asshole. We covered this earlier. This guy's out here getting money. Look at him. He can't even close. He can't even zip it up. He about ready to get robbed. And uh, guys, this is sugar cane. They take the, the piece of sugar cane and run it through this press. He sits there and uh, wheels away at it. And then the juices drip out. You see the juices right there? They drip out below and then go into a cup. And the cup, I think, is $10. But it's pure sugarcane water. Sugarcane juice. Look at him. He's exhausted. This guy ready to kill himself. He's got a left arm like Popeye. Walking with Rhonda's in the house. Hi, Rhonda. How are you? Hi, Sugar Bay. Hi, Joe Hernandez. Out and about's in the house. Hi, out and about. I'm a fan. Hope you're well. Guys, I've been following this guy since the beginning. I was here. I, I 
I, I can't remember what happened, but I had to intervene when someone was getting smart or so. I can't remember what happened, but the guy always remembered me for it. This is cake in a jar, guys. You got these jars. They're really pretty. Yeah, I'll talk to her. And it's a cake in a jar. How cool is that? Take care. Have a great night. I've been following you guys forever. Wow, that's good. You guys so are my fantastic. Andy, she opened the storefront down on Bleecker Street. You got a storefront now? She does. That's wonderful. Yeah. Where is it at on Bleecker and 185 what? 185 Bleecker. 185 Bleecker, guys. Corner of Bleecker and off the corner of Bleecker and McDougal. So you don't have to look for the little pink cart anymore. You can actually go to a like a uh, brick and mortar like it. And there wow. you go and you you customize your own jar. You walk down the line. You, someone takes your jar, you say, I want one of them. I like peanut butter with I chocolate. Want or? I want 27 toppings. I want ice cream in it. You make your own jar. Fantastic. Yep. Well, dude, that's awesome. Congrats. Right, Congrats. And I'll see you. Where are you at tomorrow? So tomorrow You're somewhere. Austin to... Avenue in Forest Hills, Queens. Wow. Have a good one. Thank you so much. So uh, I think she'll probably do pretty well. It's a beautiful product. It's a 183 bleaker, I thought he said. I, I don't know. I don't know any of that area down there. But if they're paying 500 a day here, that's a thousand for a weekend. It, and when I say 500, it could be more. I don't, I don't ever want to ask them. I always feel bad asking how much is the rent because it's gone up so much over the year. And then uh, so let's say it's a thousand a weekend. That's 4,000 a month. Her rent would probably be cheaper than that. So it maybe makes sense to open yourself a little brick and mortar. And then she doesn't have to go to Queens tomorrow and lug all her stuff around. Best deals here are usually the hats. Two for ten. Quality hats, you can't knock that. You cannot knock that. Here's my sausage, guys. Best sausage in the city. I've had them from you and from you. You guys are great. My guys love you, by the way. Best sausage in the city. It's 20 bucks, guys. But if you want to check it out, go to my shorts, type in Boogie Bob and sausage. Now be careful because I had a sausage fest with a bunch of guys a few months ago. This is a tour, guys. You see the thing on his back? He has the thing up there. That's a tour guy. And he's got a small tour. They might be from Germany. It charges $25 a person. I've actually opened my own tour business and me and Shelby just haven't pulled the trigger yet. I had so much going on, guys. I was supposed to be at a bar mitzvah at the Hard Rock an hour ago. I'm not going. They don't need me. I was there for Faruko all last night. If you guys don't know who Faruko is, he is a Grammy winning artist. This is one of his big hits. You guys can see his entire concert on my channel. Guys, these are probably, I bought these here a year ago. And look how good they still look. Brother, I bought these here a year ago and they still look good. How much? Oh, 5050. So, guys, these are the Air Force Ones. Now, an Air Force One is always 150, but these are 50. And I wear them almost every day. And they still look good. I need to refresh it probably. But I keep saying I'm going to pull the trigger. Uh, do you have a 12? You have size 12? 
This is size 12? Yeah, let me try. I don't have to put my shoelace in. Thank you. Yes, I want. I take it. You have a bag? I never buy myself any ever. Today's a treat. Today's a special treat. Gracias, my friend. Thank you, Playboy. All right. I find that uh, thank you, Playboy resonates in every language. I say thank you, Playboy, to African guys. They're like, you got it! Uh, I've been wearing these almost every day. One of my very special subscribers actually bought them for me, but I'm not allowed to mention the subscriber because they got mad at me last time. But my subscriber, who I love very much, thank you. Guys, this booth smells so good, and I'm telling you right now, for $30, this is actually, I can't vouch for the smell, uh, but for $30, this is absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. These are new. Because I, I come to the festivals all the time. It's basically like It's not a perfume. It's an oil. It's an oil-based perfume. Or a perfume-based oil. So, very, very, very nice. Liberal Lily's in the house. Hi, Liberal. How are you? Myrna. Where the hell have you been, Myrna? My boo is two-timing me, because I ain't seen her in here like two years. Myrna, so happy you're here. God bless you. Sugar Bay's in the house. Hi, sugar. Sugar, sugar. You are my candy girl. Guys, I'm just walking here. I got nothing else going on. I started off on a five-minute walk to the grocery store. I'm just going to cook some sausage heroes. And then, I see a food festival, and it works out great because I got some new shoes. Very happy with my shoes. And guys, it's a windy day, so if, if it is, uh, it sounds windy, I'm really sorry. I can't do nothing about it. So this is where the tour gets interesting. Right there is the Copa, Copa Cabana, the hottest place north of Havana. It's the Copa, Copa Cabana. Music and passion, we're always in fashion at the Copa. You'll fall in love. I fell in love about 14 times in that building. Why? Because I was there almost 18 years. When it was called the China Club. That was the China Club. The notorious China Club. I made more money at that place than any of my other places ever. I was a young... I was a young 75-year-old kid. Making lots and lots of cash. Sorry, Playboy. Sorry. He's turning. And, uh... Had a crew of about 40... It's the rooftop, then this floor, then this floor, and the bottom floor was the offices and other things. But I had six bathrooms in there, which means I had six attendants, seven nights a week. I was getting $50 per attendant, so $300 a night just for the attendants. That's what the place would pay me. And then the attendants would pay me another 1000 so I was making about 1600 just on the attendants and the coat check was banana thousands of dollars so I was making thousands and thousands of dollars I had 200 locations at that time this location I was making thousands of dollars 
And I remember at one point I was able to save up over $45 in my bank account. So that was great. We ended up shutting down because there was a stabbing in Times Square. The kid ran. He got stabbed in Times Square. He ran and he collapsed in the doorway right there, which led up to the roof. The detectives kept us in there till like, I don't know, 12 o'clock the next day. They, uh, they were really thorough. They took all our IDs and everything. Just so, Even though we worked there, it had nothing to do with it. I'd never been involved where they questioned you about a murder. Where were you? What happened? Did you hear anything? And uh, that's the uh, Copa. Copa Cabana. By the way, it's no longer the Copa either. It was a China club. We lost our liquor license due to the murder. And then it became the Copa Cabana and it just didn't stick. It's not the original Copa. But I'm just dropping tidbits on you. Just little tidbits. These are some of the migrants from the hotel. And I, I feel just like I'm gonna help them, but not with you on my live. I'll come back. This is five dollars. And you, you, you got kids that sit out there on the cardboard with their mom and they're trying to get money for whatever it is. I don't judge. I just feel bad that they're sitting on the damn the grate. Guys right here used to be Subway sandwiches. And this particular Subway sandwich is where I asked Alicia Keys if I could buy her lunch. And where she said no. I think her words were no thanks. It's a tidbit I'm giving you. There also used to be a Burger King right here. And Burger Kings don't go out of business. This one did. Oh, you could eat a Whopper, get a blowjob, sorry, and buy a Crack Rock, all at the same dinner. It was like dinner theater. That was a rough ass Burger King. Rough. Guys, this is right here. Engine 54, Ladder 4, Battalion 9. On 9-11, we lost every member of this fire department. This is my fire department. This is my street, 48th Street. I live one block that way. These were the nicest bunch of guys. Whenever I had a friend in town to bring their kid, these guys would give them calendars and little fire trucks. If you didn't know this, almost all fire departments have a souvenir shop inside. You can bring them food if you like, but also they sell merchandise, hats, shirts. Uh, firefighters from around the world come and trade their patches with these guys. On 9-11, they came out this door around 9 o'clock in the morning. They pulled up here, they went one block this way and turned west until they got to the west side highway. They then took it all the way from 51st all the way down to the World Trade Center and not one came back. Uh, this fire department lost more firemen than any department in the country. Hey, hey what's up, Playboy? How you living? You good? good. I haven't seen you in a while. You. you know how much I love you, brother. Love you too, bro. All right, be good. All right. That's one of the guys. He has a shoe fetish, like me. If you look, the first thing he did was look down at my shoes. And I didn't come correct today. Usually I come correct because he sees me on my way to work. Guys, right here, these are the 15 men that we lost. I always feel like I should. I have all their names memorized. I could do it without reading the chart because I've been doing it for so long. So that's Al Feinberg. Dave Woolley, Jose Guadalupe, Ed Gagardi, Chris Santora, Joe Angelini, John Tipping, uh, Carl Asaro, Len Regaglia, Dan O'Callaghan. These are the three Mikes. You got Mike Hobb, Mike Brennan, Mike Lynch. Then you got Paul Gill and Sam Ortiz. These are the guys. By the way, that guy, he drives the big truck. He's one of the guys that drives the big truck. Uh, anyways, all 15 lost their lives. I give them much respect. Uh, I have a video of 9-11 that tragically covers, I actually made my way down there, covers the building. Here you'll hear stories, and you can see the shirts, and the stuff they have. Here they have a, more, a memorial. 
and then the uh, again stickers from all around the country and if they don't have your size ask him he might be a dig yada xl right out of the cabinet there what's up playboy what's up, brother? how, how are you very good never forget and here's a, a better picture of the gentleman i just showed you um these are color i had a picture that i put up it was a cartoon drawing of spider-man and captain america asking firefighters for their autograph and they hung it right here for about five years my photo hung right there for about five years they brought this in this is an absolute beautiful piece it's uh, dedicated to the memory and the colleagues the officers and firefighters we lost 323 firefighters and first responders that day and by the way this was technically about the very first guy the old guy the, the very first one that they considered killed in, in action they brought him out and he was dead there's the guys with the flags if you've ever seen these twisted bars these twisted structures of the world trade center i actually have the video i don't know if rev just put it up but uh i actually have a video where i went down on 9 11. by the way me and my friends that went down there we coughed for about six months it was the longest running uncontrolled yeah. fire in human history because it burned for over a year down there underneath the rubble it was horrible but it took me about four days to work my way down there and i did and i filmed i filmed the structure just mangled and sitting there with dogs and baskets hanging from helicopter it was crazy so uh if you get a chance make sure you check that out it's a very hard it was a very hard video for me to make and it's a very hard video to watch this is the uh dispensary that i've covered you guys may or may not know that elite uh marijuana became legal in new york city i don't smoke it but all of my ladies do most of them there's a dispensary still open over there that might be closed now too but it's been about a year and a half since they opened this one is one of the bigger ones look how huge it is this is huge this is bigger than the biggest radio shack you've ever been in absolutely monstrous anyways hundreds of thousands of dollars spent on this beautiful store and then uh, the cops came the other night over a week ago and they uh they shut it they confiscated all of their stuff if you see the boxes the boxes are still there they're just empty and uh, you see the boxes down here they took all their stuff every box that had some kind of marijuana they took it all they took it all the one across the street still open. That's a behind the scenes look. Look at this. I think I think all of my ladies, they might not like it, but I think I will. Not for me personally. It's too small. I need a bigger size. But today I didn't buy nothing for my lady. I took care of me. I bought a damn new pair of crispy ass Air Force Ones. Or as we call them on the street, these are Air Force nuns. But shh, no one will know. All right. Uh, these guys actually have a dispensary set up out here. But it looks like they're taking all their stuff down. By the way, guys, I'm not sure what time it is. Anybody got the time? Most of these uh, things end around 5.30. So they, you'll start seeing them packing up. When you see people packing up, it's so they can get out of here first. These guys are packing up right here. Six oh two, yeah. It's I, it's probably six thirty today because everybody's starting to pack up already. And uh, look at this. You could literally do heroin and watch this for hours. 
Everybody at home, what is your pin number to your ATM? Send it to me now. By the way, it's 45 bucks, and this one comes with a motor that keeps it spinning. Now you can have it spin from the wind if you like, or you can just uh, get yourself a motor. Look at this guy. There's no way they're gonna look as beautiful on here as they do in person because they, in person they look phenomenal, very, very cool. All the ones on tops are the little motor that they try to sell you, but you can buy them without the motor if you want. The wind will usually spin them, but when they're not spinning, they don't look that great. Like this guy is barely spinning. He still looks kind of cool. All right. All right, they got to the bedding. Guys, these are actually good deals. Sometimes you buy sheets, it feels like you're laying on a burlap sack. No, you're not gonna get a thousand thread count. Uh, this one's 1800, hotel 1800 thread count. You get your kings, your queens, your different sizes, your different shapes. But what I come for is the pillows. These are the pillows, guys. It's the bamboo, hi. It's the bamboo, it's heavy, 10 bucks. And if you want to know what it's like, this is it. If I come home with one more pillow, all my ladies are throwing me out. I got more pillows than I got ladies. We're just walking. We're just walking. I hope wherever you're at, you're having a beautiful day. That's my grocery store. I was gonna end it here, but since we got 120 people in here, I'll go down another couple blocks. It's gonna get a little tight in here. This is where I meet all my ladies. Right here, hey girl, no. Oh, ooh, she turned around. I might've got a yes. But I don't think her man appreciated it, or her son. My hey girl almost never works. So guys, they have, if you're a foodie, they have every kind of food you can imagine. This appears to be Korean, a uh, Japanese, I apologize. All right. We're still walking here. Very tight in here guys. This is a great way to take wallets. Look at this guy. See this guy? Watch this. Oh, sorry sir. Sorry about that. I apologize. Boom. Look at that big ass wallet. This, this should be something. So not only do you get to watch live streaming and food and entertainment and shoplifting, we also steal wallets on this show. Which is nice. Look at this guy. He's driving. Look at how slow this guy's driving. He might be here a while. He like driving his truck. Like, get out of the way. Come on, player. You're gonna get hit. Don't get hit by the mirrors. You gotta watch the mirrors. Uh, when you start seeing the cars pulling up, loading up trunks and different things, that, that means I think it closes at 6. And they're, uh, this guy, look at this guy. Buy one, get one free. Get one free, okay? Everybody, thanks for coming out, buddy. We're coming back next week. Yeah, they, uh, we are you Look at this guy. Let's go, buddy. Here we go. We got a rock, 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 rock
shout out to Cosmo staff. Shout out to Cosmo. You guys need the great Look at the gym, the gym, Good the gym. job. <laughs> Sheesh. Yo, who are you? Everybody, listen, man. Cosmos right now, they do a buy one, get one for free, okay? I don't know what his job is. I think he's just a hype man. He's a hype man. Once again, Cosmos so going like buy one, get one for good, free, everybody. Good night. That means you guys are going to get the two chocolates. Guys, this is my neighborhood, the beautiful neighborhood of Hell's Kitchen. Five more. Right over five there. Left, you know? Let them sold out, everybody. Let them sold out. I haven't been robbed in weeks. Literally been weeks. I'm having a hot boy summer. Summer loving. Had me a blast. Summer loving happened so fast. I met a girl that's crazy for me. By the way, guys, Rev, you still in the house? I don't know where Rev's at. But Rev, if you could, I'll see if Rev's here first before I spring it on him. Yeah, so they're they're locked. You can see they're they're moving tables. I think it closes at six, but these guys are going to try to get their last sale. Rev left. Well, I was going to have Rev post a video where I was almost murdered. Right here. I'm the only YouTuber that has a video of him getting assaulted and robbed on film. Right in front of my Bank America. It's the only video. Oh, look at this. Look at this. You are the handsome one of the group. I don't know how you got more handsome than your brother. Bro, Bob, how are things name. going? Huh? How are things going? You, are you doing Third Avenue tomorrow as well? Jimmy is. Jimmy's gonna do Third. What are you doing? Long Island. You ain't staying home. Your ass don't stay yeah, home. Long Island. If I hit the lotto, I'm gonna break you guys off. The two yeah, hardest, man. two hardest working guys we're in the gonna, business. We're gonna go fishing. Man. How's your son? We'll go to Florida. Go is fishing. it your son that I met last time? Was your was your son here? Was the, that was my son. Right? Yeah, handsome yeah, guy. Yeah, he was holding down your store when I saw you in Times Square. It's good to see you, Playboy. Thank you, brother. So we met Jimmy earlier. Jimmy Shoes. Jimmy Shoes. That's his brother. They usually don't do the same parade, the same uh, festival at the same time. So my goal was to meet three Boogie Bob fans. And we did it. We met three Boogie Bob fans. I don't know. Maybe they hate me. I don't know. I should have said we want to meet three people that knew who Boogie Bob was. And we're not even done yet. There's a whole lot of ladies out here that wish they knew who Boogie Bob was. I look pretty handsome today. Not as handsome as usual. Today I'm like a 5.5. It's casual day. What's happening, ladies? Picture you, you're sitting here in a booth all day long looking at scrubs. And then old Boogie Bob comes sauntering in like a clouded angel. Just floating by. And then I do this. And I look at you and I pull them down. And then I throw a wink. Maybe I lick my lips and go like this. Oh, could you imagine? Can you imagine if you're the woman and that happened right now? Or the guy. Or the guy. Could be. I don't know. I don't know. I think we've come to the end of the road. And at the end of all my shows, I sing. And we come to the end of the road. It's unnatural. You belong to me. I belong to you. Somewhere, boys and men are killing themselves. Their, their lawyer asked me to stop singing their signature song at the end of my, my live streams. Because they could sue me for everything I have in the bank. And I've got to protect my $144. I can't lose that. She's got the right idea. 
She's just cruising. I'm gonna walk to the end of this thing. Even though my sciatica feels like someone stuck a knife in my leg. We're almost done. There's really not much going on. Everybody is uh is locking up. By the way, guys, let's say you have this and you don't have a way to move the tent and the fryer and the ice machine and the fire extinguisher here. You rent this for 20 bucks. If you return it the same day, it's 20 bucks plus the fees and the mileage. This is the best thing going. I did a whole little uh, short on this, how people are using these in the city if you can't get a hotel room. A hotel room, the cheapest hotel room you're gonna get is 150 bucks for a piece of crap. But a lot of times you can't get a hotel room depending on what's going on in the city. Go to U-Haul, get yourself a $20 van and get some towels and some blankets and some pillows and sleep right inside that bitch. That's about the size of a hotel room. Look at this. You can literally sleep. Look at that carpet on there. Look, you can literally sleep right here. 20 bucks. The best deal in town. So this is where everybody starts the uh, $5 specials. They don't want to go home with a whole thing of sausages. Look, the drinks are now $5. Uh, by the way, he's got the, the other guy had to use the uh, $5. Look at the line. Everybody's in the lineup. Uh, this guy has, he doesn't have the kind of where you have to use your arm. He's got a motor. The guy down the block had to use his damn right arm. Had an arm like Popeye. This guy just slides it in. Five dollars. We got the point. Get it now. You guys want a chicken burger? They're usually 20 bucks. Right now, five bucks. Because they don't want to go back to Queens with a whole room full of chicken burgers. I would. We're just walking. We've got comedy tickets. Free comedy tickets will cost you $85. Just so you know. If someone comes up to you in New York and says free anything, the answer is no thanks. I did get two free Coca-Colas in Times Square a week or so ago. But that was from Coca-Cola and they, were, they had a new can out or something. But any of these guys offer you something free, it's a, it's, it's a scam. They're going to get you. Ah, free comedy tickets, guys. Free comedy tickets. You go, yeah, I'll do it. It's a two-drink minimum. Drinks are 30 bucks. Plus, there's a cover charge. You like comedy, guys? Oh, I love comedy. Well, you like Chris Rock? Oh, my God, I love Chris Rock. Well, tonight, his brother cousin is performing. And it's free. Plus, a surcharge in my fee. We're just walking. I hope that you guys had a good time on my impromptu walk and talk. Come on, Shorty. I break my damn leg. She was not yielding to the pedestrian. She was like, I'm going to run this cart into your leg, sir. See, he's not selling his stuff. He's, he's eating. He's like, I got tacos left over. I'm eating them bitches. Six o'clock, get out, and or you could get a ticket. This is why people are lining up to get out of here. The end is here. And guys, right the next block up, two blocks from here, Central Park. And I, I wanted to surprise you. I'm gonna wear a Speedo, a banana hammock, and no shirt, and walk around in Central Park. So ladies, Get your VCR set. Okay, not today though. I can't. That's what we call clickbait. Clickbait. I'm going to uh, tell you all thank you for tuning in. I appreciate you. By the way, you know when you can get the deal 
on the free the burritos for five dollars right now they don't do the same thing with hard merchandise like belts and bags because they're they're perishable items they want to the the non-perishable they're taking home like the glasses he ain't gonna give you a deal on glasses he's gonna sell them tomorrow it's the burritos the burritos is where you get your money's worth this is where I would have ended anyways. I set my mind out to go to the end. I went to the end. And now I will pay somebody $85 to carry me to a taxi. I ask you all to please be kind and loving to each other and be good to yourself. And always remember, I shall pass this way but once. Any good, therefore, that I can do for any human being or any kindness that I can show to anyone let me do it now let me not defer or neglect it for I shall pass this way but once you get one chance in life you get one life unless you're a Buddhist then you could be reincarnated I got one chance in life and my life will be dedicated in the service of others being kind good and helping caring beautiful sharing anything I can to make someone else's day better that is my mission in life including all of you Please be good. Have a good day. God bless you. Call a friend you haven't talked to in a while. Tell your loved one you love them. Call your mama. Be nice to your husband. Now, I know that's asking a lot. I know that's asking a lot. Be nice to him. He deserves it. God bless you. Thank you, guys. I love you all. Except two. Two of you. Guys, if you want to see more cool videos in and around New York City, make sure you subscribe, you like, you ring the bell, and God bless you.